All right, guys, big tune, big up Sean Paul. It's time to get into the stories that have been trending this week. It's time for the trending topics. Let's go. All right, guys, so first up, Netflix stocks plummet. $50 billion wiped off Netflix's value as subscribers quit. So shares in Netflix have slumped by 35% after it revealed a sharp drop in subscribers and warned millions more are set to quit the streaming service. It wiped more than $50 billion off the firm's market value as experts warned it faced a struggle to get back on track. Now, Netflix faces intense competition from streaming rivals, but was also hit after it raised prices and uh, left Russia. Now, yet some cast doubt on its plans to boost growth, which include bringing in a free ad-supported service. And, you know, it also plans to crack down on password sharing, estimating more than 100 million non-paying households watch the service this way. Oh my goodness, I feel like, uh, I mean, as I said, you know, the, 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 the stocks will drop when subscribers fall and streaming time fall. And I mean, with all of these new restrictions and persons trying to save money, in addition to the fact that there are so many other competitors in the market right now, persons have options. So what you're used to and what you're used to getting for what you pay for is not the case right now then I mean, that is really expected. And if I have, say I have three homes and it's me watching my Netflix, you know, say I'm here Monday to Wednesday and I have, you know, you have, you have somewhere else you need to go, your holiday home and you go visit your mother or your whoever and you want to watch your TV. I mean, persons are, are considering that as well. So, you know, with so many competitors, it's going to be, it's, it, I'm sure they are expecting that fall to, to continue. You yeah, know you, you know, um, with businesses and companies, you always have to try to find growth at some point yeah. in time. And as people's tastes and the space diversifies in terms of options, there would be some mm -hmm. repercussions, right? Yeah. So you have the streaming services like, you know, and you know them, I don't want to list them all, but you know, um, Netflix is facing big competition. Not yeah. only that, but the kind of content that Netflix offered when it just started, started out the blocks, mm -hmm. you know, and what it does offer now, you find that a lot of the big shows are getting greater deals, you know, yeah. really, really big with deals. With the competitors. With the competitors. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, and these streaming platforms are accessible. Mind you, in Jamaica, there are still some restrictions and yeah. people buy them VPN and they still stream them. Yeah. Um, you know, but but the truth is that we, we, we see that it's not pulling the attention of people as it did before. Before. You know, because yeah. some of your favorite shows have now moved off the platform. And in addition to that as well, when the user experience has changed to include ads now, and you're thinking, yeah. I've, I've chosen Netflix to get to away get from away the from breaks. this, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just want to watch so my I show I just want to watch a show yeah. in peace, like mm -hmm. I'm at the movie theater, you know yeah. what I mean? But if you're going to put in these ads now, yeah, yeah I know. Really. I, know I, I saw mm -hmm. something else on social media where um, persons were saying that, you know, maybe this will kind of... Um, propel them and um, kind of entice them to, to increase the offerings, one, and two, to enhance it, to give persons better show for their money, to better yeah. shows for yeah. their and money. Maybe, and maybe so, looking to diversify in the content yeah. as well. And, and we have wonderful content here in Jamaica. Um, yeah. Jafta, your Netflix may be an option, just saying. Yeah. Anyways, guys, so Mike Tyson punches plane passenger after bottle thrown, right? So the story goes... Former heavyweight boxer Mike Tyson punched a fellow airline passenger after the person threw a bottle of water at him. This according to Tyson's spokesperson. Video taken on the plane shows Tyson leaning over his seat as he lands repeated punches on an unidentified man. A spokesperson for the Boxing Hall of Famer confirmed that Tyson had an incident with an aggressive passenger who was harassing him. The police were dispatched and temporarily detained two individuals. And there has been a lot of reports about what happened on that flight yeah. that, you know, at first the person came up to Mike Tyson, he greeted him. You know, when a celebrity in yeah. airline, you know, in the airport, so you see the person, hi, how are you doing? They said Mike was friendly, but the the person persisted. <laughs> yeah. Can I get a picture? Can you I know, get a picture? Can I get a Mike, picture? Mike, you yeah. know, and then we understand, Talia, that sometimes yeah. you're just not you're, in you're the popular, <laughs> but you're still human. Yeah. And sometimes you just don't want to be harassed by nobody. Yeah. And we understand that Mike Tyson is not the kind of person to harass. Or 
So you're very brave, sir, to want you to know, arrest my guys. <laughs> when 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 um when persons caught wind of the incident, um, because you know when when you see the social media comments just going, I see one person say, but. Who would want to pick a fight with Mike That's Tyson? That's what I'm saying. Like, why would you want to pick up all the people in the world? Why can't you violence today? No, why can't you violence joke, today? You know, right? You have to take bad things with joke. Of all the people in the world, why would you want to go harass? No, I think as well that Mike was soft on him because Mike can give you a knockout in one go. So, like, I think Mike, Mike was soft on him to so repeat it. And him, yeah. You know, Debs, what, um, I think what the, the devil's advocate or the other side, um, persons with a different opinion would say, well, you kind of sign up for this life. Yes, so, yes, yes, but you know, when I'm not your human, you sign up feet, you know, right? And this is something that you should expect. But what, is, so what is it too this much? This should really be your reaction. When is it too much? You know, right. like, where, where like, should you cross the line? And where should you cross the line? And they say, boy, mm -hmm. you know, it's a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So if you if you see people, especially through the airport, sometimes you don't want to be stopped or in jet lag, privacy, jet be lag is serious, invaded. You, know? you mm -hmm. don't know what the person is going through that day. If you yeah. say hi, hi, stop. Don't try to strike up a conversation as a, at that time. As, I, as I can play the person on the other side, you sign up for it, you know. So you should expect that. Um, a lot of persons gonna wanna come. They wanna. They're gonna wanna greet you. They're gonna wanna ha take a lot of pictures. But yet, still, people should be mindful. Yeah. If you're so much of my fan and a supporter, you really should be mindful that hey, maybe I'm not. I'm. Ha I'm not having this the best day This is what I want today. to know, Tala. I don't mm -hmm. know the law, the law as much as probably you do, right? Mm -hmm. But I want to understand. Okay, fine. A an airplane really is a public. Is considered to be a public space because it is. you have everybody there. Yeah. But if the person is directly behind me and are harassing me, is that invasion of my? personal space i feel okay i guess it just it depends on what they do yeah it really depends on what they do so if they're tapping him tapping him tapping him tapping him tapping him tapping then of course you know it would probably be considered something like that okay but i guess it just depends on on what they do you know um so don't touch me because if you touch me don't touch me <laughs> that's don't. what Debbie said don't touch me don't touch it. no 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 don't do that no uh, <laughs> all right <laughs> like guys. call to me but touch it yeah <laughs> you don't touch mike tyson yeah don't touch Mike Tyson. If no. Debbie said don't touch her, just imagine what Mike did say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Next up, Shaggy covers Sinatra. Yes. International recording artist Shaggy pays tribute to Sinatra on his forthcoming project titled Come Fly With Me, the Sinatra songbook in a reggae style. Now, the 11-track set, which was produced by Sting, is set for release on May 25. Shaggy and 17-time Grammy winner Sting first collaborated on the chart-topping 44876 album in 2018. Of course, you know, Shaggy, I think Shaggy really enjoys working with Sting. And um, when he spoke about this new project, he's saying, look, it is always such a great pleasure to work with Sting. You know, they have mm -hmm. such great chemistry. They get along extremely well and they produce good music. So, of course, you know, when they team up again, it's just going to be greatness. Um, yeah. You know, and, and Sting actually shared how the idea came about. You know, they, they, they were just vibing and then voila. Yeah, But magic. it's so in interesting when we see these collaborations happen and we see how fantastic they sound when it's finished and, and the finished product and how well it does, not only here, but, you know, just on the global scene and, and the global impact that it has. It just goes to show that, I mean, music is limitless. Yeah. And and it's not a genre thing, but it's always about partnership and meeting up and, and just vibing and, and making 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 magic happen. Yeah, know? I think I think one of the good things as well is that after the Grammys was announced this year, and we all remember what happened, <laughs> um, you know, Shaggy announced that he was going to do this collaboration with Sting and I think maybe the Grammys for next year may fall back in the hands of a Jamaican. Yeah, maybe. So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. All right, guys, so Johnny Depp and heard face off in court. So, actor Johnny Depp, who we love so much on Paris of the Caribbean, is currently involved in a heated defamation trial against his ex-wife Amber Heard. Now, Depp is suing his ex-wife Amber for $50 million for describing herself as a public figure representing domestic, domestic abuse in a 2018 Washington Post opinion piece. Now that, oh God, she laid some allegations against him, right? That made, of course, a couple divorce in 2016, about which they had each promised to remain silent, right? And in Deb's view, the public uh, characterization could not go unchallenged. But after Deb lost a similar case in London in 2020, his public reputation and career are in tatters. He has not appeared in a major film since Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of... Uh, 
Grind Grindelwald back in 2018, and we have not seen another Paris of the Caribbean, right? Hearing the, you know, the case and the mm -hmm. testimonies being given, <laughs> you don't even know what to say, right? I don't right? even know what to say, to be honest yeah. with you, because um, the, the image being painted of Johnny Depp now for years is of one that is abusive, crazy, frantic, you know, um, somebody who you don't know what will, you know, what what he it's, would do in a particular it's like, situation. It's like a loose cannon. And yeah. that would not be encouraging at all for any movie studio at all to have him on set with es those allegations against him. And you know, um, especially when I think a lot of the, the storylines, they appeal to to a lot of persons from the younger generation straight up. Yeah. You know, um, so... So then hearing his side of the story though in, in yeah. court, to say, boy, you know, the reason why he was doing what he was doing was because of the abuse that he was facing, yeah. that he was facing at the hands of her, oh. you know, and hearing what happened with, um, you know, how, how she kind of twisted some things. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Well, it's, 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 it's almost like it's a movie unto itself. itself yeah. You know, some of the things we can't speak about here because it's morning yeah. TV, etc. So we have to just kind of skirt around some things. But... It is alarming to find you know, out that there are people like that in the world. You know, Debbie, I think, as I would say, the plot thickens. So we'll see if um, if eventually, if after all is said and done, if he will actually get a movie about this. We'll yeah. see. I think yeah. so. Let's see. Well, guys, we can smile continues right after the break. Don't go anywhere.